Welcome to Module 7, Lesson 18, Debrief Questions. These are some tough questions. So our first question asks, does a larger number always have more factors than a smaller number? And the answer to that is no. It doesn't always mean it's going to have more factors. And what we looked at when we did the factors of 12 and 15, we saw that 12 is smaller than 15 units, but 12 has more factors than 15 does. So just because the number is larger doesn't mean it has more factors. Think about a prime number like 17. 17 is bigger than 15, but 15 has four factors, and 17 only has one in 17. It only has two factors. But then you look at a number like 20, and it has a lot more factors. So you have to find the factors that go into a number to figure out the answer to a question like this. Next question. Will different rectangles with the same area always have the same perimeter? Why or why not? So here are two rectangles. This is a two by six. So two times six means it has an area, length times width, two times six, an area of 12 square units. Here is a three by four. Three times four because length times width, three times four is also 12 square units. So both of these rectangles, they look different, but they have the same area. 12 square units makes up both rectangles, but the perimeter is different. Here, you add 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 6 because you have two side lengths of 2, two side lengths of 6, and you get 16 units. The perimeter around the outside boundary of this rectangle is 16 units. Here, we have to add 3 plus 3 and 4 plus 4, and that gives us a total of 14 units. So just because they have the same perimeter does not mean they're going to have, I'm sorry, just because they have the same area does not mean they're gonna have the same perimeter because the side lengths make a difference. And this goes back to our knowledge about factors. There's different factors that make up each number. So when you rearrange it, the outside can get longer or shorter, but it still takes the same amount of units to fill up the center. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. It was a tough one, but I think it's a fun one. I'll see you next time.